Ryan from the Kilowatts recently took a built-in Texas Model Y that's equipped with a structural battery pack and 4680 batteries to a Tesla V3 supercharger, and it appears like charging speeds have improved since some of the earlier charging tests that I discussed in a past video. Let's dive into some of the new charging data and talk about the improvements. I'm John, and welcome to Cleaner Watt. Earlier this month, Ryan from the Kilowatts took a Model Y equipped with 4680 batteries to a V3 supercharger and started charging at a 0% state of charge. According to this video that was posted on Twitter by the Kilowatts, the 4680 equipped Model Y was able to charge from 0% to 80% in an impressive 32 minutes. If you remember, that's actually a bit of an improvement over the past results that I talked about in a video last month. Last month on the YouTube channel Spoken Reviews, there was a video where they took their Austin built Model Y with 4680 batteries also to a Tesla V3 supercharger. And according to their results, they were able to charge from 9% to 80% in 34 minutes. So as you can see on this chart where I've taken that data, the kilowatts were able to go from a zero to 80% state of charge in 32 minutes. And it took longer for spoken reviews to go from a 9% to 80% charge, 34 minutes. So when you look at how many miles are being added per minute of charge, the new charging session by the kilowatts shows a little bit of an improvement. Now, once again, though, as a reminder, these charging speeds are still not quite on par with the 2170 equipped Tesla Model Y, the long range all wheel drive version. According to data from evdatabase.org, the long range all wheel drive Model Y equipped with 2170 batteries can go from a 10% to 80% state of charge in roughly 27 minutes. Last month, the spoken reviews was able to go from 9% to 80% in 34 minutes, as we mentioned. And to get a more apples to apples comparison beside just the zero to 80% number, based on what I could tell in the video that the kilowatts put on Twitter, that Model Y was able to go from a 10% to 80% state of charge in around 30 minutes. So while this is a slight improvement to the 4680 battery charging speeds, uh, apparently they're still not quite as fast as the 2170 batteries. Once again, when it comes to how this compares to the competition, I pulled this chart from the 2022 Cleaner Watt Electric SUV Buyer's Guide. And as this chart shows, when it comes to miles being added per minute of charging, the 4680 equipped Model Y is bested by the Kia EV6, the Hyundai Ioniq 5, the 2170 equipped Model Y, the Model X, and possibly even the Cadillac Lyric. Now, I don't know about you, but I also like to see charging curve charts when we talk about charging speeds. So I've taken this data once again, I've created a few charts for you to kind of demonstrate the two charging curve differences between 2170 batteries, the 4680 batteries, and then also uh, the earlier 4680 charging test and the current uh, most recent 4680 uh, charging test by the kilowatts. This first chart is comparing the 2170 equipped long range all wheel drive Model Y charging curve there with the state of charge and the peak kilowatts and comparing that to the spoken reviews test that was done last month on their Model Y with 4680 batteries. And as you can see, the 2170 equipped Model Y at that time, as I showed in the past video, maintained a higher level of um, charging power throughout most of the cycle. However, when you compare the kilowatts recent test to the spoken reviews test last month, you can see that there is an improvement on the charging power, the kilowatts during the charging cycle. Now this does of course bring up the question, if Tesla was able to improve the charging speed a little bit since last month, is Tesla going to continually increase the charging speed of the 4680 equipped Model Y where it'll either be on par with the Model Y with 2170 batteries or surpass that vehicle? Um, as I mentioned in the past video, it doesn't appear like the 4680 equipped Model Y will ever charge quicker than the 2170 equipped Model Y, at least for the foreseeable future because that's what Tesla promised at battery day. As I showed in this chart in the last video, although Tesla's new 4680 battery technology does eliminate a lot of the problems with the battery diameter and slow charging speeds because of that, you can see that this chart does demonstrate a very slight increase in charging time based on a 21 millimeter battery to a 46 millimeter, um, even uh, their new tabless battery. So while I believe it's unlikely that in the future, the 4680 equipped Model Y will charge faster than a 2170 equipped, Model Y uh, based on what we know now, it does appear like Tesla will increase the charging speeds of their superchargers overall, which could lead to an increase of charging speeds for nearly all their vehicles, especially though the vehicles with larger batteries like the Tesla Cybertruck coming out hopefully next year. 
According to Sawyer Merritt on Twitter, he mentioned in January of 2022 that Tesla's superchargers in North America were going to get a charging speed bump to 324 kilowatts. And this was supposed to happen later this year, according to him. So that's an improvement for the V3 supercharging speeds, but also there's starting to be some talk about Tesla's V4 superchargers. And according to this Tesla Canada article and something I've talked about in the past, quote, one of the first real hints of the new chargers talking about the V4 superchargers came from the former executive Jerome Guillen during the company's Q3 2020 earnings call, who said they were working on a 350 kilowatt or so supercharger. So if Tesla does indeed increase the speed of their V3 superchargers to 324 kilowatts, as uh, Sawyer Merritt mentioned on Twitter, and if the V4 superchargers do indeed have speeds over 350 kilowatts, um, I believe all of Tesla's vehicles will uh, see a little bit of an increase in speed, but especially vehicles like the Tesla Cybertruck coming out. As I explained in a video last month, larger batteries can generally take better advantage of high rates of charging and maintain a higher kilowatt rating throughout the charging cycle. If and when Tesla brings out a long range 4680 equipped Model Y, the charging times may be a bit closer to the long range all wheel drive Model Y equipped with 2170 battery cells. So really to wrap all this up, the 2170 equipped Model Y does still indeed charge faster, um, even with a little bit of an improvement for this 4680 battery charging speed. However, I once again believe that Tesla will increase the speeds overall of their vehicles with chemistry tweaks, with upgrading their superchargers. But nonetheless, it appears like the 2170 batteries will always just be a slight bit faster charging than the 4680 batteries. Do let me know what you think about all this in the comments section below. Also, I wanted to remind you once again that the 2022 Cleaner Watt Electric SUV Buyer's Guide is available and can be purchased at cleanerwatt.com forward slash magazine and it includes information on a number of electric SUVs that are either available now or will be in the near future. Find out more and purchase your digital copy at cleanerwatt.com forward slash magazine. Well, thank you so much for watching this video all the way through to the end. I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters who support me every month and help make this content possible. A special thank you to my performance supporters and also the other supporters listed on the screen. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community I've set up, I'll put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.